Hey YouTube, sorry about no video in a little while. I was busy over the holiday break with family and such. But now that I'm back in business, it's time to talk about a rather useful and common desync called landing desync. This desync is performed by having Nano land sooner than 6 frames after Popo, and it happens nearly every time you land. As we know, Nana reads inputs 6 frames after Popo, so what we're trying to do is get her to land sooner than 6 frames after Popo, so that either we can get her to do a grounded move while Popo does an aerial, or have them both do an aerial and have their landing lag animation less than 6 frames apart. From there, we can input a move that's read by Nana and not Popo. The reason for the latter working is how many Nana first desyncs work, which is by having Nana's first actionable frame be less than 6 frames after Popo. If you want more information on the details behind that, then watch the Squall Hammer desync video, which I have linked in the description below. Now there's two primary ways to set this up. In general, when you land, Nana will usually hit the ground 3 to 5 frames after Popo instead of unexpected 6, netting between 1 to 3 frames that you're able to desync with. You can either desync with an aerial and a grounded move, or perform an aerial before you land, and in the lag of the move, perform a move that only Nana will end up reading. The other method to set this up is with buffered bear into up air. By doing this, Nana auto cancels her startup frames for up air, while Popo does not. The result of this is that Nana is actionable about 6 frames before Popo, netting a huge window up about 12 frames to perform a move with only her, more or less depending on the difference in when they land. Now, when you hit an opponent, that ranges into a different category of desyncs called hit lag desyncs, which I'll cover in another video. But as for now, that's everything that you need to know about landing desync. And as always, thanks to Smesty, Blackjet, Iggy, and countless others in the IC Discord for the help, and thank you for tuning in. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing. In my next videos, I'll be explaining the hit lag desyncs, and after that, desync storage. See ya!